hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to detect car license plate or we can say car number plate and then we are going to detect the speed of the vehicle and we are going to save the number plate text and the speed inside mysql database using jam server so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we will detect car number plate with the help of yolo 11 so here i have already created the model the custom object detection model which detect car number plate of course you can create your own model but i have shared the model for this particular scenario inside github repository and then we are going to detect the speed also and then we are going to send the number plate text and the speed inside mysql database simple so for that i have created a new repository yolo 11 number plate speed zam i will mention the link simply copy paste the link inside web browser then go to the code and click on download zip it will download our zip format repository as you can see it's downloading we successfully download our repository now let's just open our repository so go to the downloads and this is what our repository right click click on extra call extract it will extract our folder like this way and then we have our uh, repository yellow 11 number plate speed zamp main again same folder so here it is as you can see i have already shared the best.pt model and this is what our video file so let's just first install our packages so open thony python id go to the tools open system shell and run the cls clear the uh, shell i will make full screen and then we will run the first package which is opencv hyphen python pip space install opencv hyphen python hit enter it will install opencv hyphen python on our windows 11 machine just cls cls and clear the screen then pip space install ultra litics pip space install space ultra litics and it will install ultra litics package for yolo 11 done i have already installed cls and then for ocr for link the number plate text we will use pedal ocr or uh, pedal pedal package so pip space install pip space install space pedal pedal this is what the first package pedal 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 and pedal then hit enter it will install pedal pedal package and then we want pedal ocr package so again cls and then i will run pedal ocr then just hit enter so this is how you need to install opencv hyphen python ultralytics pedal pedal and pedal ocr these packages done so we have done with package installation let's just close the shell now simply first we will download our video file so this is what our repository folder vid.txt inside that i have mentioned a mega cloud link copy the link open the browser new tab Control plus v hit enter and it will open our mega cloud link where we have a video file click on download and it will download our video file so friends we successfully download our video file so let me close all these things and we will move our video file from downloads to our repository so cut and then this is what our folder and then just paste it and if i open the video file so as you can see we have here cars and we will detect their number plate and then we will detect the speed and we will save the number plate with the speed current date and current time also simple so for that i have already trained the model which detect number plate so friends now we will install xamp server so i have already installed here a xamp if you don't know how to install xamp it is really easy you need to simply open google chrome just search for xamp and then download their setup.exe file and as we always install any normal software on windows 11 machine simply just install normal way means click on next 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 that's it it will install xamp simple so i have already installed xamp so let's just open our xamp so this is what our control panel here we need mysql and apache apache for php myadmin so let's just start uh, xamp mysql service and we will start php myadmin means apache server 
now uh, we started our mysql and apache so let's just open our chrome and here i will simply mention you know, the local host and the php my admin so friends as you can see this is what the local host 127.0.0.1 and php my admin then just hit enter it will open our php my admin page like this way now here uh, we will simply we have our model also we have our video we will simply run our code so i have already uh, shared the full code so go to the file click on open and main.py so this is what the main code where we have pedal ocr mysql dot connector also friends i have forget to mention we need mysql connector so uh, go to the tools because we, we we want to send the data so of course for that we need a mysql connector package so for mysql connector we will install the package like this way pip space install pip space install mysql mysql hyphen connector connector then hyphen python pip space install mysql space connector space hyphen python and then hit enter done as you can see the requirement is already satisfied mysql connector python because i have already installed the package so you need to install mysql hyphen connector python package for sending the data inside our mysql database server done so then mysql dot connector ultralytic solution as i already explained in previous videos so we will use your ultralytic solution for uh, detecting the object also estimating the speed so a speed estimator is the class which i have already explained uh, this is the this is the ultralytic solution code i have only changed the code for sending the data in our mysql server and here i have mentioned the pedal ocr which basically detect the which basically read the text and this is what our database connection as you can see then connect to db so connect to db localhost root there is no password so uh, there is no need to mention the password if you have the password you can mention simply the password and uh, here we will create the table so this is what the table name this is what the table name simple number plates speed is the table name and the database is basically if i make like this way uh, here i have mentioned the database name also as you can see create the database if not exist and the database name is number plate speed number plate speed is the database name and then we have here my data is basically our table name so uh, number plate speed is the database name and inside that number plate speed database we will create my data table you can simply mention your name you can mention here any name for database and then you can simply mention here any name for table so my data is our table name which we will create inside number plates speed database and this is the tables we will save the date time track id class name speed and the number plate simple and after that we have a speed estimation functions also we will send the query we will send the detected text basically inside our mysql server done so here i have mentioned uh, the here i have mentioned basically let me show you here we have here our uh, c2 event mouse move function also here it is as you can see this one so uh, with the help of this function we can simply we can simply draw the region of interest area so if i i have already explained how we can draw the region of interest area so let's just start the code first So friends as you can see we started our code and when we start our code it says as you can see database number plate speed is created so as soon as you started the code it will create our database 
so number plate speed the database is created and my data table is also created simple so if you open our php my admin so right now there is no uh, database so if you refresh the page here it is as you can see now we have number plate speed this is what our database and if you click on this plus icon we have my data table and if you double click on my data table you will get the columns id date time track id class name speed and the number plate right now there is no data because we we want to start our video file means we want to start our code in while loop simple so we created our database and table done so what i want to show you here here i have comment the region uh, region showing line basically this one this one as you can see self region so i will uncomment i will uncomment this line and i will again uh, start the code this line is basically for this line is basically for let me make uh, this like this way okay now it's in in line so this line is basically for showing our region of interest area region of interest area it will show the line as you can see this is what my region of interest area this one this is the line so when the number plate center point touch the line then it will save the number plate text and the id the number plate uh, text id current date current time and the speed of the vehicle simple so this is the line so how do we mention the line coordinate simply i have already explained you need to simply move your mouse cursor let's just say if i want to start from here so i will just move my cursor over here and inside should we will get the start x and start y point and this is what my line end point x and y and then simply you have to mention these points here in while loop here as you can, as you can see region points so region points is basically this is what our start point and this is what our end point you need to simply move the cursor on the frame you will get the coordinates done now so now i have already mentioned the model now we are ready and now simply because if we if we mention our region of interest area it will not perfectly read the text so for that simply we will hide our line so for that i have comment the region line code so here we have region line code this is the uh, line number 93 as you can see self annotator draw region so let's just comment this line i will comment this line and now it will perfectly read our text because if there is line the ocr the pedal ocr will not read the text perfectly simple so let's just save the code and we will now start our while loop so for this project there is no need to change anything simple so let's just start our while loop and now it will start our while loop it will detect the number plate also it will uh, detect the speed and then it will send the data inside our mysql so as you can see so this is this is where our line so when it detect the line then we have speed so for this vehicle as you can see we have 30 km per hour speed for this vehicle we have 33 km per hour speed and uh, for this we have 35 for this we have 35 then when the line when the the number plate center point touch the line there is there is line but we comment the line method because if there is line uh, of course the line will uh, come on the rectangle and the ocr will not read the text perfectly for that just hide the line code there is no need to show the region of interest area okay simple so it's detecting the speed for each vehicle as you can see with the number plate also now if i stop the code and if we open our php my admin so this is what our table so if you just refresh the page as you can see we have here id we have your current date we have your current time we have your track id for each number plate the class name and this is the speed as you can see 30 31 33 35 this is the speed and this is what their number plate this is what the number which we extracting with the help of pedal ocr so we have number plate we have each number plate speed we have class name 
means the number plate is the class name and the track id then time then current date and then the id so this is how friends you can create your own custom object detection model for detecting the number plate you can use the code and you can detect the number plate with the vehicle speed also simple so i have shared the full code you need to simply install the xam server and it is really easy to install xam server i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye